Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am here to plan out Monday, August 12th through Sunday, August 18th in my Erin Condren Vertical Life Planner. Spoiler alert, it's actually Monday, August 12th when I'm filming this plan with me. I was out of town over the weekend and usually when I go out of town, I will try to film the plan with me before I even leave. That way when I come home, my planner's all ready to go. The video's already filmed and we can just start the week off fresh. But last week was just crazy. There was so much going on, so I decided to push it to today, which I have done before, planned on Monday night. It's not my favorite thing to do, but it is what it is. However, I will say I am really tired. I feel like I'm a lot more tired than I normally am when I come home. I, I flew home this morning and then went straight to work, but I mean, I got a decent amount of sleep and then I slept on the plane and then I slept in the Uber to the office, but I, I still am exhausted. And so I was sort of thinking about it and I'm going to do a almost pen only week. I've had requests before to do a completely pen only week and I just got a new package of these tool pens. Actually, a friend sent these to me and I took some of them out and kept them at the office and then brought the entire pack home. And so I thought, I'm gonna use my new pens and I'm gonna do a very simple week. I'm still gonna pull in a couple of things, which you'll see, but for the most part, it's gonna be just these tool pens. And these are the medium ones and they're sort of like a silver barrel. So this is the one that I have been using that I love that I got from the Office Depot booth at Go Wild. And it doesn't say anything about the thickness that it is and it's completely black. But a couple of people messaged me and told me to go with these medium gel ones. So that is what I went with. And so far the ones I've used at work have been great. I haven't tried it actually in the planner yet, but you can see that this one, these are from Amazon, have has like a kind of a silver barrel, and it actually says medium on the barrel there, unlike my other one. So, so we'll see if they write the same. I mean, I'm just gonna stick with the new ones. I'm not gonna use the old one, but I'm excited to play with these. I mean, they're literally brand new. They still have the little uh, like plastic thing protecting the tip. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do actually is the sidebar, and the kit I was gonna use this week had gray in it, so I actually made my habit tracker for this week in gray, which is just perfect. So I'm going to still use it. Like I said, it's not completely pen only, but I like that it's gray, so it's very simplistic. So what I'm gonna do is actually white out this thing at the top because I know you'd be able to see it through. I know that some of you have, have had commented and I also message with um, Kate from Planner Kate and she made these hexagons for like this particular space. However, the stickers that she made are meant to cover the colorful hexagon. So they are wider than like a normal habit sticker. So she actually, she did make some to cover the neutral hexagon. Um, she didn't make hexagons, she made rectangles. Um, I just haven't gotten around to purchasing them yet, but I do want to so that I don't have to white out just to cover this up. Normally I will put a quote sticker over that, that hexagon in the corner. Okay, I don't think that's perfectly straight, but it'll do. And then I'm just gonna put some of my weekly tasks here on the side. I have not even started to think about what things I'm gonna do this week. I just wanna get the plans that I have in, in the planner. So normally what I'll do is I'll put a half box at the top of each day and that's how I spend my morning time before I go to the office. And then the half box space below that is how I spend my lunch hour. So instead of using half box stickers, I'm actually just going to draw a line between the two. Let's make sure it's halfway. So it looks like these are pretty much exactly two inches, these boxes, these vertical boxes. So I'm just gonna do one inch down on either side here and then I'm gonna draw a line across to mark, to split it, basically split it up. Okay, I decided to do a dotted line. I've seen Saray from Saray Plans on Instagram do this before. She has very simplistic spreads where she, where she will do dotted lines and it just looks so nice. So I, I really like the way that turned out. And then before we flip it over, cause I want that to dry before I try and flip it, cause these pens are super juicy. So I do want to use washi to mark while I'm at work. And I had originally grabbed this gray sort of plaid washi. It came in a set of a bunch of colored plaid washies from Michaels. And I still am going to use this gray washi, but I'm going to use it down here at the bottom instead. And then I grabbed a bunch of skinny gray washi. I'm going to figure out which one matches the best. And I'm going to use that to mark the time that I'm at work. 
I think, well, I thought I was gonna get away without white outing, white outing. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get away with not white outing the hexagon, but I am gonna leave all the lines and stuff. I was hoping that by doing a simple week with very little stickers, very little washi, that it was gonna be a lot faster, and hopefully once I get kind of the basics down, it will be a lot faster, but right now, it's taking just as long as a normal plan with me. Okay, I don't really remember what I was saying. Sam got home earlier than I thought he was going to, so I had to stop for a quick second, but now we are back on track, finishing the washi at the bottom. Again, hopefully once I have this down, since I'm just doing a pen for the rest of it, it should be pretty quick. Also, I'm totally converted to the exacto knife method of cutting washi. It has changed my life. Oh, it's perfect every time. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now let's see which one of these matches the best. That's pretty good. I don't remember where all of these are from, to be honest. That one doesn't really match, but I mean, it's all gray, so I mean, it, it does match, let's be honest. Let's see here. Mm, that one's not quite the same shade. Actually, you know what? I think these three are all from a set of skinny, like varying shades of gray and black and white that I got in my Go Wild swag. And I, oh, oh, or maybe it was the Chicago Planner Conference. The darker ones don't, don't have the same tone. That one definitely doesn't go. Okay, so I'm torn between the light gray one and the striped one. I think I'm just gonna do light gray. I think I'm gonna keep it simple. So normally what I will put in this center box is some sort of full box sticker or quote sticker to mark the time that I'm at work. And so when I first thought about doing a pen only week, I thought, oh, I'm just gonna write the word work and then draw an arrow. But then I had a flashback to a time that I tried to do that once before and the arrows were not straight and then it like I didn't even wanna look at my planner because it was so messed up just from that one like trying to draw arrows straight down. Yes, I could have used a ruler, but they weren't they weren't even evenly spaced. It wasn't even about using a ruler. So that's when I decided to just use washi in this space, and then I'm just gonna write the word work next to the washi. Yes, it's a little bit extra and adds a little bit of unnecessary time, but as I've mentioned before, the decorative aspect or the visually appealing aspect of my planner makes me want to use it. It makes me want to look at it, which in turn makes my week more successful versus if I didn't like the way that my planner turned out, I won't look at it all week. And then I don't get anything done. I don't, I don't look at what I wrote down that I was going to do that day. I don't care about not checking off the workout stickers and habit tracker and so on and so forth. Okay, the last thing we need to set up is just those dotted lines on this side of the planner. And then I think we can actually start writing down some plans. Okay, so let's start with Monday. So this morning, I flew back. That was how I spent my morning time before work. I'm gonna go look up what my flight number was. I know it doesn't matter, but it's gonna look nice. And then, for lunch today, we had a team lunch. It was actually kind of a cool idea. So we had a mixer is what they called it with another team and you had to come up with your job in a tweet. So you had 140 characters to come up with your job description, not just your title. Like basically they were sort of poking fun at when you go to a work event and you say, oh, I'm so-and-so and I work in this department. But what does that mean? What do you actually do for your department? What, like, what does your day-to-day -day kind of look like? And so you had to come up with a tweet and then you went around the room and if you understood someone's tweet, you got to give them a heart sticker. It was like giving them a like. And then whoever had the most likes at the end got a prize. Truthfully, there wasn't anybody I didn't give a like to. I feel like that would have been kind of weird. So really it was a matter of how quickly you could go around the room and meet new people. But it was still a fun idea and to sort of have to think about your job description and, and condense it down into 140 characters was kind of cool. So, and then the rest of this is just gonna be work. And then tonight, I want to, I'm trying to decide if I want to do check boxes with the stuff I'm doing tonight or if I just want to write it in. No, I think I'm going to put check boxes because checking things off is the best. So I'm filming this plan with me. It's the big thing I needed to do. 
and then I'm gonna write unpack, but let's be honest, that might not end up happening. Because I'm tired. Okay. And then the to-do list down here, I'm not really sure I'm going to fill this in. I didn't really do anything else today. I might just use it as extra to-dos from Tuesday and Wednesday when I'm trying to catch up a little bit. Let me flip this around. Okay. So tomorrow morning, I'm just going to write sleep in. I need to catch up on some sleep. I am just tired. So that's what I'm going to do. And then tomorrow during lunch, I have another lunch thing. Okay, and then work again. Mm, those don't look the same and that might bother me. I this I made this one, of course I just and I just got a pen mark on it. Good job, Lincoln. This one I didn't spread out as much. Lincoln. Oh well, it's okay. And then tomorrow evening, I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store, but to be honest with you, I'm not ready to write that down on the planner yet because I need to chat with Sam and see if that's the what I actually need to do and then I also need to edit but I will fill that out after I have a conversation with him Wednesday morning I need to film Friday's video and then Wednesday during lunch I definitely am gonna work out I can't remember if I have a meeting that conflicts with boot camp can I go to boot camp or do I am I going to the Pilates class. So I'm just going to put a sticky note that says work out and I will determine that on Wednesday or tomorrow when I get to work and look at my calendar. Okay, Wednesday evening I have a call with somebody at 7 and then I am probably going to edit that video. I'm going to put edit first even though I probably won't finish editing before the call. I'm going to start it and then stop, have the call, and then go back to editing. It's also just really hard to write with the coil and have it look nice, but that's good enough. Thursday morning. I don't know yet about Thursday morning. Thursday during lunch, I'm going to go to the total strength class. Mm, I kind of lost lettering chicken a little bit there and had to smush it up and then work and then work Thursday evening we have our family fantasy football draft and before that I need to research it <laughs> I have not been paying as much attention to the off season and knowing like where everybody is going and who went. I mean, I know some of the big names. I know, like, you know, OBJ went to the Browns. Like, I know some things, but I don't know. Um, I don't know enough to feel confident to draft. So I need to do a little bit of research before that happens. And I think we settled on 9 p.m. Eastern, but I'm not going to write that down. All right, Friday, same thing. I'm not sure what's happening Friday morning yet and how I'm going to spend that time. Depending on how late this draft goes, which I think everybody has said they can go in person. So usually I feel like when you do a draft, everybody's there in person. It goes a lot quicker. It's when someone's auto-drafting and you have to wait that whole time is really frustrating. But if that goes later and everybody's, you know, texting and whatever, I might end up just sleeping in on Friday morning, to be honest. Okay, Friday during lunch, I'm going to put a sticky note that says workout. Right now I have a meeting that conflicts with the boot camp class, but I'm hoping that it gets canceled because it's an it's a meeting that we have every other Friday. But the one that we had two Fridays ago got rescheduled to this like past Friday. So I, I just don't think we would have one like again that one week later, if you can follow that. So I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to go to boot camp and the meeting gets rescheduled, but we'll find out. And then Friday evening, we're doing a sticky note again. I had talked to my friend Allison about going to get drinks. She started a new job this week, and we talked about going to get drinks to celebrate. Um, if I don't end up having drinks with her, I'm going to go to a yoga class that my friend is teaching. So I'm doing one of those two things Friday, not putting it down on the paper because I'm not sure yet. 
Okay, and then Saturday and Sunday. I am also going to just put it on sticky notes for now because I don't know, well, should I just write it in? And if it, if it has to get moved around, it has to get moved around. Yeah, let's just write it in. Let's just, let's go for it. Saturday night, some friends of ours are having a movie night on their patio. They're gonna put up, like, I don't know if they're getting a sheet or a screen, but they're gonna have a projector and like play a movie, which is really cool. So that is what we're doing Saturday night. So I'm just, I'm just gonna fill that in. Okay, and then the other things that I need to do, well, okay, I take it back. I was gonna, be bold and write, go ahead and write it down on the planner, but I'm taking it back. So I'm going to need to edit, obviously the weekly vlog and some other things that get filmed. I'm gonna need to film the plan with me. I know for sure I'm gonna do a little bit of decluttering when I talked about this in my power sheets, I had originally planned to do it on the two half day Fridays that I had in August, but the last half day Friday I ended up doing a bunch of other stuff, including a YouTube live, and I just got a little bit distracted, truthfully. So I need to do, I was gonna do two sessions, so I'm gonna do one this weekend and one next weekend to get those in. I'm also gonna put a sticky down to remind myself to look at the other monthly tasks that are part of my power sheets because I only have two weekends left in August. I mean, yes, there are kind of three weekends left, but I'm gonna be out of town the last weekend, so I really only have two weekends left, and I need to make sure I get whatever those other things are done. And then I also signed up for workout classes both days, I'm pretty sure. Well, I was feeling motivated when I was with my mom. She, my mom has actually lost a bunch of weight, and I was like, oh, I need to sign up for class pass next weekend, so I signed up for them. So I'm gonna look at the ones I signed up for, and I might reschedule and move some things around. It might also depend if I go to this yoga class on Friday, then I won't go to one at the same studio, but if I don't go to that, I will probably go to one on Saturday or Sunday. So I'm gonna put, put that with a question mark. So I think that is gonna be it for now. So I still have to fill in, obviously, some of these to-dos and the to-dos over here, but at least I feel like my planner is going to work for me this week, even though I didn't pull out a weekly kit and do a whole sticker session. I really love these pens. I talked about it in a favorites video, and now I have more. I, I really do love these pens. I love how thick they are, and they they soak into the, the paper, the Erin Condren paper, which is beautiful paper. Somebody actually mentioned that last week when I asked about writing on stickers versus writing on the paper. Somebody was like, well, the paper is so beautiful. And so it is nice to have a week where I get to really appreciate the nice Erin Condren paper. So I think this is gonna be it for now. I finally feel like I have my feet under me a little bit, although I probably need to catch up on a little bit of sleep before I completely feel that way. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. More tired. Is that grammatically correct? Blue home Monday, Monday today. Oh my God, I can't even talk. Um, and so far, oh geez. I don't remember where all of these skinny washes, skinny washes. I have a call with somebody at 10, at 10. That is not even close to right.